on Sunday we were talking about blessing others, about how we should make blessing others a habitual part of our lives as followers of Jesus, about how we should plan to bless, not just waiting for an opportunity, but making opportunities to express some of the love, the compassion, the extravagant generosity of God to others. Yesterday, I reminded you that one of the ways in which we can do this is through words of affirmation. Today, I want to remind you that we can bless others also through acts of kindness. In today's reading, Jesus and the disciples are trying to get some space to have a bit of time to themselves, a much needed catch up. They start looking for somewhere quiet to go and to rest. So they all went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognised them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He began teaching them many things. By this time it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said. It's already very late. Send the people away so they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. What follows is the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. But what I love about this story is how much it shows the heart of God. When I need a bit of quiet time to myself, woe betide the person or child who interrupts me. There's nothing that can make me quite so grumpy as an interruption when I'm trying to relax to recharge and refresh, which I confess is not good and I'm working on. And Jesus' reaction to this interruption is completely different. He is moved to compassion, first to teach and then to provide food. And here I think is the best example when it comes to acts of kindness. Who do you know that might need something today? A bunch of flowers to cheer them up, some food for the cupboard, a bar of chocolate to get them through. A job done in the house that they can't do for themselves. A trip to the pharmacy to pick something up for them. Maybe it's not even someone you know. Maybe it's something else entirely. Paying for the shopping of the person behind you at the till. Helping that little old lady across the road, hopefully because she wants to go across the road, um, not just because you're looking for someone to bless with an act of kindness. Letting someone else take the last space in the supermarket car park. Spending time with the homeless person you walk past each week. Conversation, some company. There's a song by an artist named Frank Turner and I'm not sure I'd recommend all of his music to you, but this one song is called Be More Kind. And I want to read to you the last few lines. Listen to them, take them in, put them into action. When you're out there floundering like a lighthouse, I will shine. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. Like a beacon reaching out to you and yours from me and mine. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. In a world that's decided that it's going to lose its mind. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. Who will you bless with an act of kindness this week? How will you turn kindness into a habit?